Accensio uh, works on wearable technology. The presenter is Joel Guerra. Let's clean this up. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hello, I'm uh, Olga. I'm presenting Accensio. So we are making uh, intelligent stamp for uh, a better quality of life. So you all know about uh, wearable and the uh, quantified uh, self-trend. So iWatch, Microsoft Band, Joe Bone Fitbit, you name it. Uh, they all have been uh, proposing us 24-7 uh, monitoring of your health. But uh, why is that? Because uh, basically, um, what they, they want to, to give you is uh, a monitoring uh, of your health, because you all need to know uh, if you're in a good health, basically. So um, the problem is, sorry, just a second. <laughs> the problem is today's uh, activity trackers are only uh, good to, to monitor uh, your activity, your sleep, your heart rate, and your uh, calorie count which is, all in all, is uh, not uh, uh, good information about uh, your health. So what you need, actually, uh, is access to uh, your body uh, biochemistry. So to do that, today, uh, you will need to, have a, to make a blood test every hour, which is unthinkable, painful, and uh, inconvenient. So at Accenture, what we are proposing is to access this biochemical information uh, continuously, non-invasively, thanks to a uh, sweat uh, analyzer. So we complement uh, handheld devices, which are doing the data processing and the interfacing. So for Accenture, uh, one drop of sweat is a gold mine of physiological information that we are able to access thanks to uh, EPFL uh, FinFET biosensor technology, We've integrated microfluidics, to which we have an uh, exclusive license. It's a state-of-the-art technology uh, which in terms of uh, footprint, uh, low power consumption, and it's directly inspired from uh, Intel processor technology. So uh, we, we are happy to show you today Accenture wearable intelligence stamp. So it's as simple as putting a Band-Aid on your skin. So it's a two millimeter thick patch with several layers. The layer on your skin is collecting uh, your sweat, and the other layers are sensing the biomarkers of the sweat, but also uh, classic vital signs, such as heart rate, body temperature, respiration rate. All the data is then sent to your smartphone, which is uh, doing the data processing and the warnings. So basically, Accenture provides a, a platform that is complementing uh, current wearables, but it's also enabling a completely uh, new kind of services. So for instance, uh, you're running, you want to know your, your physical muscular fatigue, you have it. You, you're worried about your children or elder people getting dehydrated, you have it. But it's also so much more. Uh, you can actually, with our platform, uh, monitor um, markers and give uh, alerts related to disease markers, such as uh, diabetes, uh, cystic fibrosis, but also skin rashes or bisphenol A. So all in all, we are a B2B company. We are providing a sweat analyzer uh, sensing skin stamps to consumer care companies. And uh, we plan to extend to sport and healthcare companies. So in short, we, we have, uh, we're trying to give a new vision of uh, personal health and if you want to take part uh, in this uh, endeavor, uh, please come and see us at the booth outside. Thank you. Thank you, Hoyle. Please. So the patent landscape in this space is very crowded already, right? So what, do you, what does your IP teach that others have not yet? So uh, in, in the market uh, where we are targeting, the type of products we are ta targeting with sweat analyzers, there are actually uh, very few uh, competitors. Uh, there are, let's say, four competitors are using traditional uh, sensing uh, technologies 
typical electrochemistry. For us, uh, we have a, a new sensing technology, the FinFET uh, biosensor platform, that has a sensitivity that is one million times higher. We go down to atomolar concentration instead of picomolar concentration. So this technological advantage gives us uh, a wider potential of application in terms of detection of biomarkers. I think you're, go you're in an industry where basically what's going to make the difference is purely marketing. So you show some of the uh, segments of your uh, potential uh, customers. Is there anyone with uh, whom you've already started uh, working? So we we already uh, started to uh, discuss partnerships with uh, cosmetic care companies, also uh, food uh, food companies. Uh, so it's a very pe peculiar segment where they're interested in uh, our capability to to monitor the the effect, for instance, of uh, cosmetic and so on. And we also have discussion. Uh, let's we'll, we'll say further term based on uh, dehydration. Uh, so companies that are interesting to monitor dehydration and of uh, people. So I can't give exactly the, the name of the company yet. Claude? Yeah, so if I got it right, you want to put me a lab on my skin, a clinical lab on my skin, and you say you're doing continuous measurement more than one an hour. So my first question is, what's more than an hour? And the second idea is, what, what is really the benefit of doing continuously, continuous physiology monitoring? Uh, we know we did the halter in cardiology, we did in EEG or things like that. What's the intention to have a longitudinal physiology monitoring the lab on my skin? So um, first, uh, you, you were talking about the time frame. So with this, uh, we are measuring almost uh, continuously, real time, in terms of, uh, of sweat reaching the sensor. Then there is a question, what is the modification within your body uh, that comes to be present into the sweat? So this is a time frame of three minutes. So overall, you have information uh, in a time frame of five minutes. And the interest to, to have this continuous monitoring, actually, is not to uh, replace uh, medical diagnostic. It's more to extend uh, the, the cycle, the care cycle outside the hospital, the hospital in, in a strategy to have a preventive care strategies to, to have information before reaching the hospital and try to lower the cost. Now we, we know that very well in Switzerland of uh, medical insurances, and I guess it's a bit true everywhere in the world now. We have time for one short question if you still have one, otherwise, yes? Why do you focus on B2B, and what's the business model? So uh, we are focusing on B2B because we are providing a platform that can be used differently depending on the, on the need of the company. So we are pro providing the product that helps uh, offer this company the possibility to bring new services, new products to their end user. We don't go directly to the end user for this reason. So, and as, you, as I mentioned earlier, you have different segments uh, of markets. Uh, one is the consumer care, the second is sport, and the third one is health that we, we plan to ac uh, access in the long term. So for, for this reason, we plan to go in B2B to first uh, demonstrate to the market uh, our technology, and then extends to uh, different segments that require uh, this first demonstration, this validation. Merci, Joël Guerin. Thank you. Thank you.